Hi ladies, Manisha here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a review for these beautiful um, jelly water paints. They've been, they've been very kindly sent out to me from She Modern. So I'll leave She Modern's information for you at the bottom of the screen and direct links as well where you can find these goodies. So they're sold um, four in a pack so you can mix and match your colours. Um, there's lots to choose from. I think I've just counted 24 different colours currently. Um, and I've got I think about 21 of them here um, to share with you but I'm going to be doing a little bit of nail art with them and um, so these are really great they, they're um, water based and um, so non-toxic and everything like that and um, they do come in a cute little um, container like this which does have a little um, nozzle on the top which um, makes it easy so you don't sort of lose um, too much of it you know when you're using it because a little bit does go a long way so I'll be swatching some of these colors onto these tips I've already done some nail stamping and I will leave the information what plates and polishes and that that I've used for you down below but I'm just going to show you um, how you can use these to color in um, so you can use brushes or um, sort of those little sponge applicators things like like that to transfer these colors onto your um, nails or your nail tips um, and then they do um, just sort of wash out in water so you can just clean your brush up and reuse it for the next color um, and this is the first time I'm gonna have a play with them so I'm quite excited to see how I go and um, see what we come up with she also included a little pack and this has actually already got like um, a couple of different brushes in there and it's got a couple of um, nail sort of swatch tips there and also a bottle which I've actually gone ahead and put some um, water into it you can use it pretty much for anything you want but I've just put some water so it's easy to um, pop a little bit on just to clean the brushes there's also a little palette here just at the back sorry rustling while I'm talking there's a little plastic palette there that you can use to decant your colors onto to while you're um, you know using them with your brush to pop onto your nails um, and also if you want to put water on here just to clean your brush out too it's easy to do that and like I said they're non-toxic and water-based so they are nice and easy to clean up after use and then you just let them air dry and then once you've finished you can just go ahead and add your favorite um, top coat so I will um, move on to the next part of the review and we'll try a few of these different colors out and see what we can come up with Okay, so for my first design, I'm going to be using um, brown chestnut, um, orange apricot and yellow lemon. So I'm just decanting a tiny, tiny amount onto that little um, sort of plastic sheet that I've got there. You don't need a lot and um, I'm going to be doing a tiger design as you can see here. So I've stamped it using a Born Pretty Store plate. I've got a 20% off discount code if anyone's interested. I'll have that listed for you down below. And first up I'm going to mix the um, orange apricot and the brown chestnut together just to get a sort of more of a tiger colour. I found the orange was probably a little bit on the bright side just on its own or a bit too light. And I thought mixing it with the that beautiful warm chestnut colour would be, um, you know, just give the ideal sort of tiger um, colouring. So I'm just going to mix a little bit more. I found like I didn't mix enough but um, as you can see it's really easy to do and I'm just brushing it over the stamped image now it's not distorting anything underneath because this is water based so it's not going to um, interfere with any of the lines that you've already stamped and you can quite confidently just stamp straight over the top I haven't added any top coat or anything like that then I'm just adding a little bit of the um, orange apricot just on its own just along the edges so this is kind of adding um, a little bit of a sort of gradient to this design and last but not least, I'm going to finish off with the uh, yellow lemon colour. So just on the edges, I'm going to leave the little bit of white just showing right at the edges there just to um, give it more of a tiger finish. But I really liked how this one turned out. And this is the first time I've used this. I haven't practiced off camera or anything like that. And um, yeah, really pleased with how that one's turned out. It's covered really nicely, but yet you can see the stamping quite clearly underneath. So for the next um, one, I'm just going to be using three colours. So I've got um, pink fuchsia, and orange coral and pink salmon. Done doing this over a beautiful essence um, polish. So what I'm going to do underneath for you, if you're interested in what I've used for each nail, is I'll number them one to four. This is nail number two. So I'll have the name of the polish, the stamping polish and the um, whatever the 
you know jellies that I've used over the top so at least you know straight away um, what I've used if you want to recreate or get certain colors and um, yeah just make it nice and easy for you so just be sure to check those out first before you leave me a message and ask what I've used for a particular design I will list everything for you nice and clearly so I've just done the um, pink salmon just in the center and um, then I'm going ahead and doing the coral sort of color around the outside of that and then last but not least I'm finishing off with the pink fuchsia color so that's more like a sort of purpley color very very pretty now these colors are really easy to overlap and um, it gave like a real flawless um, gradient without me even trying you can see exactly what I'm doing here in real time and um, you know it's just they're just blending together um, effort effortlessly and I was really pleased with how easy this was to um, do like a sort of colored in design and um, yeah just had a nice pop of color there now the more you add I found the sort of darker the color became so if you just do a little bit you'll just get kind of like a wash of color but um, yeah, I was sort of going in, I wanted to give it a real nice vibrant look here and I'm um, really pleased with how this one's turned out. Now the base itself is quite shimmery and that shimmer does actually still show through the um, jelly finish. So for the next design, I'm going to be cutting to some green colours. So we've got a green apple, um, we've got green lime, we've got forest green and then I've got um, yellow um, ochre, which is kind of more like a, um, almost like an olivey, yellowy kind of dark, you know, like a brownie color almost. This is the first one going on here. Well, more, actually I should say more like a, a mustard, um, now that you can see it going onto the base. Now the base polish itself is a very, very light, um, essence polish over which I've actually done a coat of a hollow topper and then the, um, the image itself I've stamped with a couple of green polishes. I've just sort of, um, you know, mix them together just to get a mid-tone green and I thought it'd be quite nice not to stamp in black and just show you that you can actually use different colors and then still put these jellies over the top and um, do some coloring in this way so I've um, blended some of the colors together for some of the um, leaves here I'm just going to add another color over the top of this and um, yeah I really like how versatile it was so you can change up your greens or your blues whatever colors you're using or just stick to one color or do a bit of a gradient like I have with some of the other colors and um, sorry the other um, stamped images but I thought it would be quite nice just to do something fresh um, I mean you could totally do this in autumnal colors so you could do oranges and um, reds and yellows and things like that and go for a completely different look um, rather than these sort of fresh green tones that I'm doing here just adding a little bit of detail to the veining just for added interest but anyway that's that nail done and then last but not least I'm going to do a rainbow of colors so I've got um, yellow lemon and then next up I've got neon pink beautiful color then we've actually got a couple of blues we've got a blue sapphire and a blue ocean and purple lavender and that's done over another essence polish which is um, quite a nice um, you know sort of glittery type of polish as well and I've stamped over the top with um, Maniology um, Shirobi I think the name of it and a, a Maniology plate and that's a collab with um, Claire Stell so yeah just thought I'd use that one do a nice scenery type de design here for this one and you can see I'm mixing the pink and the yellow together to get a bit more of like a vibrant orange color because I wanted to overlap these and so that the gradient um, sort of um, was a little bit smoother and um, so you can transition between colors by mixing the two together or just kind of overlapping them on the actual image itself if you want to there's a couple of different ways you can do it and um, but as you can see yeah the results are really cool and um, in between I'm actually just wiping the brush off I haven't even bothered um, washing it to be honest with you I've just been um, wiping it off on a bit of cotton round at the side so yeah I didn't actually film that little bit but um, anyway that's all I'm doing in between colors and I'm really pleased with um, how this one's turned out the colors are really really pretty and um, yeah just just really nice and vibrant I've got a few bubbles there I'm just going to pop them here just get rid of them and then I'm ready for the top coat Okay, so here are the final swatches. I've um, top coated these. Um, I haven't top coated that one because I've literally just finished that one now. And I'm just going to give a few more minutes before I pop a top coat on. And I'll take some photos and leave them for you at the end of the video. But do check these out. I mean, I'm so pleased with how well they've blended. Um, it's a really nice, fast, easy way of adding colour 
um, to your design um, whether it's stamped or freehand I don't do freehand as you know I'm not very good at freehand skills but I do love stamping and um, I had lots of fun with these I especially like that one there that's I think my favorite one and um, I really like that one there too the colors are just very very pretty and um, yeah you can mix them obviously to create new colors they do blend effortlessly and you can get really good um, gradients and that happening too with mixing the colors because they will overlap and like you saw I did mix some colors together before popping them onto the nail like I did with um, some of these ones on here but um, yeah they they were just so much fun to um, play with so do um, check out She Modern see what else she's got on offer she's got lots of other really really cool nail art products available and um, something very unique and um, you know only available on her store I haven't seen anyone else do something similar so if you're interested do check that out and um, thank you again Tina sending these out to me She Modern um, I'm glad the parcel arrived and um, I'm looking forward to using more of the products that you've sent to me so do look out for upcoming videos ladies um, as time permits I I will um, experiment and share with you um, designs and different ways you can use them. Um, I always like to share with you things that I can discover and um, you know create and expand our um, nail art journey. You know, like just see what else we can do with um, nail art products and you know how we can use them in different ways to create lots of fun things. So anyway, I'll leave you with direct links down below. And um, if you haven't done so already and you've enjoyed what you've seen here, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is free to do so. I'm also over on Instagram, so you'll find a direct link for me down below. And apart from that, thanks for stopping by. Take care, stay safe, ladies, and have fun wherever you are. Bye for now.